Good morning, darlings. It is Friday morning, and yeah, amazingly, it is still morning, but only just. Uh, I was up at a decent time. I've edited um, yesterday's video. I haven't done anything with my hair, as you can see. Don't worry about the hair. Don't worry about the hair. Emma is going to sort it out in a couple of weeks' time. It was all arranged on last night's live stream, probably. <laughs> live streams are a bit hazy. Right, let me just show you this, because I couldn't show it to you uh, last night on the live stream. There you go. That is the £1 bit of art that's going to go up there. Bloody hell, look at that cobweb. Jesus. That's terrifying. Right, need to get onto that. Need to get onto that. Uh, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. So, video's all done. Uh, it's just exporting, and then I'll upload it. What we need to do is uh, we need to send off um, uh, some gloves. We need to go to the post office, and I've promised you a trip to Chatsworth. Um, that was promised in the live stream last night, and um, it's not a... Uh, it's not a, an unselfish thing because uh, I need some beautiful Trackleman's uh, strong horseradish cream for my beef on Sunday. So let's get the gloves sorted, shall us? Oh, here we go. Here we go. Oh, straight to it today. Oh, no, that wasn't it. Ah, there it is. No rush. Here we go. Oh, I love that. Let me just show you this. I absolutely love that background. That's uh, Slandidno at night, darlings. Right, let's get these gloves sorted. Right, so it's um, two pairs. Copy the address. God, I haven't got to edit it. I can just print it straight off. That never happens. So now I've got an envelope ready. Oh, balls, just torn it. Print another one. careful with that one right so close that down Got the gloves here ready to go god I can't not look at that cobweb now that is terrifying oh and I need to order uh, a picture hanging kit I was supposed to do that yesterday completely forgot Okay, so one pair and two pairs. Oops, get off me. Don't use the one that's ripped. Right. How quick and easy was that? So, um, all we need to do now then is uh, back downstairs. The film should be exported. I just need to get it uploading and we will get these gloves off and get our bums to Chatsworth. And that's a take. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to the Land Rover, darlings. And um, it's actually rather a nice day.
Here we go. How am I doing for fuel? I've got a little bit. Not a massive amount. But a little bit. Hello, sheepies. It's actually really warm in here. Right, next up, post office. I'm reminded of a phrase that um, Alan put in Scottish in the Facebook group yesterday. Looking at this view, you could travel a lot further and do a lot worse. Beautiful. Right, I'll just show you this quickly, darlings. Those up there, let's see if I can zoom in for you. Those are the Golden Gates. Um, you're not normally able to get through there if you're, a, if you're a member of the public. But there you go. So that's, Chatsworth is a massive estate. So um, this is our kind of first brush with it. Let's get the screen back to where it should be. There we go. Right, onward and upward. Here we are again, the village shop and post office. Very nice too. Right, won't be a moment, darlings. Okay. I'm back, darlings. That was quick and easy. All right. Squeaking at me. That was quick and easy. No queue. Bosh. Job done. Gloves on their way. Happy days. Right. Let's take you lovely people to Chatsworth. Strap in, darlings. Not literally. I'm speaking metaphorically. I need to strappings, I'm actually in this car. You guys are just watching me on your portable electric devices. Now, hello cows. <clears throat> Chatsworth really is massive, so you'll find that everything is spread out and different things are in different areas. So I'll show you the house and grounds first and then I'll show you some of the other little bits and pieces. This is the road from Baslow to Bakewell and it basically uh, cuts through uh, the estate. Now the farm shop, which is where we're going, was actually that right hand turn. But obviously, oh hello. Obviously, I want to show you the glory that is Chatsworth. Here we go. So coming up on the left, there is um, like a, a fitness place, gym and spa and whatnot. And the waiting list for that, the last time I looked, the waiting list for membership was about 20 years. Something daft like that. There you go, can you see that on the left? Never actually been there, that sort of thing doesn't uh, appeal to me. And then we will go over the cattle grid and into the estate itself. Now on the right, there's a sign here saying welcome to Chatsworth. On the right, through those gates, there is an entire village called Enza. And that is where the Dowager Duchess used to live. And I had the privilege of um, joining her for 
she, well, I had coffee at her house on a couple of occasions. You have to be careful when driving through here because all of the animals are loose. Um, obviously, you, you can see that there are sheep, but there are also herds of deer, various other animals.
what's coming up. Bonfire and fireworks, 1st and 2nd of November. Oh, here comes the open top bus. Completely empty. How long before they drop that? And there, in all of its splendour, in front of you, my lovelies, Chatsworth House, the ancestral seat of the Duke and Duchess of Devonshire. bit of a right I'm not actually paying to go into the car park for obvious reasons so That really was just a cheeky, quick glimpse because I'm really not allowed to stop here. But then I am an inveterate rule breaker. So there we go. Chatsworth House, my lovelies. Obviously, well worth a visit, but we are now going to go to the farm shop, which is also rather magnificent. A so, little sign here telling you that it's a mile to the farm shop. <clears throat> this time we've got Enza on our left. Shop is 
just a short ways up here. It's actually about a year since I've uh, since I've been here, and it will almost certainly be jam packed, full of American and Japanese tourists. if it's not. It's normally a struggle to park. The village of Pilsley, another open top bus. Pilsley is lovely by the way. And here we go, we took a left. There's a cafe and a restaurant here. Outdoor stall, uh, stalls. They often do food fairs. There's one coming up called uh, Taste of Christmas. I have been to a couple and they were really rather splendid. Right, find somewhere to park. Right then, darlings, let's go and see what's what. Just thought I'd uh, give you a quick glimpse round the back before we go in. And there's the cafe terrace. Actually, not quite as busy as I feared it might be, but uh, yeah, hugely popular attraction. Ooh, there we go. Lashings of uh, fresh stuff. Ooh. Check out those leaks. Cute little baby carrot. Pickling onions, chestnuts. All okay. sorts. What have we got here? Uh, various nature of privets. And that's cheap. Yeah, it's 70. There you go. Established in 1977. I wasn't even born. And then birds eating stuff. Right, let's have a look inside. That. 
that's what we came for. I'll get some English mustard while I'm at it. I could have spent a lot longer in there and a uh, lot more money. Might come back another day actually. Plan a lunch. Oh, <clears throat> looking at all that food has made me rather hungry. It's, what time is it? 20 past one. Um, I was getting some funny looks trying to film in there. Uh, so I didn't film quite as much as I would have liked to. I probably need to get over that. Yeah, I film stuff. <laughs> get over it. Uh, yeah, so, made me quite hungry looking at that food. Now, there was um, uh, a section there with sandwiches, filled rolls, that sort of thing. Oh, God, they looked absolutely gorgeous. But, and I would have loved to have bought one of those. Nice, easy lunch kind of thing, but <laughs> they were a bit expensive, darlings. They were a bit expensive, so um, we will head home and I will make something for lunch. What are you doing? Right, you don't know what you're doing. Okay, we'll just whiz past you then. But that's good. I'm um, I'm delighted that there is a local stockist of that beautiful, strong horseradish cream. Because I didn't fancy making a trek down to the M5 services down in Gloucestershire to get one. Now I know where it is. And there were lots of... Um, Chatsworth own condiments as well. I think I filmed uh, the red sauce and the with the ketchup and the brown sauce. But five ninety nine a bottle. Yeah, nothing's cheap in there, darlings. It's it's all priced for the tourist trade, not for not for locals. There are other farm shops that are you know more designed for locals rather than taking tourists trousers and pants down uh, okay <clears throat> oh golf course dead ahead right let's get home get some lunch i'll see you when we are back at home big yellow bastard bus <laughs> we're back at home darlings and look chips for lunch you gotta have chips on a friday here in the north it's virtually the law Classic Derbyshire dish, curry on chips. It's that time again, darlings. Off to work. We jolly well go. You may have noticed that yesterday we greeted the Honourable Bridge for the first time in quite a long time. And that's because the road is back open. The road that we normally take has been, uh, was closed for quite a while, some kind of gas works, and we were having to go through Kreitsch. So we were not having a daily encounter with the Honourable Bridge, but normal service has now been resumed.
Right, that's it. Time to go home. It has been, my lovelies, it has been a very quiet night. Christmas Day menus have all been sorted and printed and all of the flyers and things for the table, so that will be one of my jobs for during the day tomorrow. Get those all out there on social media. We've got um, we've got 49 people booked um, so far for Christmas Day, and my ambition this year is to do 100 covers. Never quite done 100. Did 89 last year. So this year I'm determined to uh, to get 100 in. But it's been a really, really quiet night. Um, quiet in every department, quiet inside, quiet takeaway. So, here we are. Right, time for some Radio 4, and uh, I'll be back to say goodnight to you. So, wish you all a safe and peaceful night, and a fabulous day ahead and a joyful weekend. Oh, a bit of hootage going on there. Uh, right, be sure to take really good care of yourselves. Okay, much love from me and uh, I'll see you either on tonight's live stream or on tomorrow's video. No, no, I love